What's up guys, hope you're all doing good today, and welcome back to another video. Now I guess we're a TikTok drama channel now, because I've covered TikTok drama last video, I've done it before, and I'm doing it again, so uh, I don't know man, 2020 is doing some weird stuff to us. So today we're talking about Charlie D'Amelio, and I'm sure most of you know who she is, she's like the number one TikTok star on the platform, she's got like 95 million followers or something, which is kinda crazy to think about considering all she really does is sits there and dances. But, uh, I don't know, good on her, I guess, for getting so much by doing so little. But anyway, Charlie got herself into some interesting controversy, and, uh, she's getting hella hate from a lot of people, even her own fans. I think she's lost, like, what, 400 plus thousand followers on TikTok? I don't even know if they call it followers on TikTok, but anyway, she's getting a lot of hate, and I don't know if I want to say it's warranted, but I think it is deserved in some ways. I know some situations has to do with her chef and like she mistreated her chef on video and I know she was kind of complaining about something on a video that she made where James Charles was in it and they were talking about followers and I guess it kind of sounded like she was being ungrateful for the 95 million that she has instead of 100 million. So I don't know, we're going to watch the clips together, we're going to kind of dive into this whole aspect with each other keep each other company we're gonna have a good time here we're gonna absolutely roast this girl hopefully try not to that much because she is going through a lot right now because she's being absolutely decimated online by a lot of people and i'm not going to stand by the things these people are saying they are messed up you should not tell people to hang themselves and kill themselves and make fun of the way that they look but at the same time this is the internet and there are a lot of people like that so if you piss off people they're going to do anything and everything they can to try to get to you and clearly whatever they're doing is working because she is not enjoying this at this point it is pretty clear that she can't really handle the internet and she definitely can't handle the backlash she was going off on instagram crying about the things that people were saying about her and how they're so messed up which like i said i do agree the things that people are saying are going way too far and they are extremely messed up that no human being should say to another but at the same time it's the internet you messed up you made some pretty stupid decisions on camera for all of your fans and millions and millions of people to see over 95 million people who follow you can see this clip and obviously way more than that it just depends on whoever clicks the video in general so it makes sense why she's getting a lot of this hate but is it all warranted i don't uh. i mean it's definitely not worth death threats and telling somebody to hang themselves and kill themselves because quite honestly there really isn't much that you can do to warrant those things or justify them in any sort of way because quite honestly these statements are extremely vile and nobody should say these to another person but here we are you know anyway i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna play the clip so you guys can actually get some context for those of you who don't really know and for those of you who just want a little bit of a rehash and then after they're done i we're gonna talk about it a little bit and i may stop in between as usual you guys know the drill okay so before the clip starts i just wanted to backtrack and say Dixie D'Amelio was the one who had the issue with the chef, which I don't really see an issue with that whole situation, but we're here to talk about Charlie, so I just wanted to clear that air before anybody thought Charlie was the one who had to do with the chef. That's not the case. It was misinformation. This is actually what happened. Wait, hey, whoa, 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 In whoa. one year. If we're thinking about it, okay, how far away is That's Friday, okay. Ugh, I wish it, I wish I had like more time, because imagine if I hit 100 mil I know. a year after hitting a mil. Was the 95 not enough for you? <laughs> well, I was just like saying like even number. Well, right. Number. Well, so that clip right there is why everyone is so enraged at her. And according to Keemstar, um, I'm not exactly sure how true this is. But according to him, Charlie's lost about a million followers on TikTok. I don't have TikTok. I don't own the app, but I will not go anywhere near it. So I'm not 100% sure if that's the truth. So take that with a grain of salt. But uh, that's just from what he said. I didn't finish his video though. I got the gist of the information he had to provide and some other research I did before that. So uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how much she's lost, but just know she's lost over 500K. Now, right now I'm about to do something I never thought I would ever do, but I'm going to defend Charlie D'Amelio. I know, crazy. I'm defending a TikToker right now. I, I have no idea. I have no words. 
I didn't expect the situation to arise, but here we are. So the reason Charlie is getting so much hate is because people see her as ungrateful for the 95 million followers that she has on TikTok. When I saw the video, I genuinely didn't see it that way. I don't see how she's being ungrateful in any way. She just thinks it would be cool to hit 100 million by the end of the year. And I have to agree with her. That would be really, really cool. Hitting 100 million a year after you got all you know so popular by the end of the year that's a hell of a good year well in terms of numbers i guess because obviously there's the pandemic and everything so i don't want you guys to get it twisted but to hit 100 million by the end of the year is an insane milestone and that's really cool in my opinion so speaking of numbers that's another reason people are upset they don't want to be referred to as numbers because you know 95 million that's comprised of all the people who have chosen to follow her but again i don't see it that way either 95 million is a massive number okay and if you want to go higher and hit the big 100 million by the end of the year, I don't really understand how that warrants all the hate she's been getting from her fans, all the hate she's been getting in general, how it warrants death threats. None of this is justified in any way. I think this is all blown out of proportion a lot. This is nothing like the Zoe Laverne situation. I think Zoe generally did something really, really wrong in the last video, but in this one, I don't think Charlie deserved all of the absolute decimation she's been getting. I, I generally, I just don't see why that's the case. So I'm about to put a little clip of her crying about it and basically talking about all of the things that I just said herself so you guys can get a little bit of a feel from her perspective. Some of the messages, some of the messages that I got yesterday. Cause these are, these are pretty crazy. Let me find them. So, huge trigger warning, these are really, really messed up messages, but I'm just going to tell you guys this because you have to realize the reason that I don't want to speak out is because I know I'm going to get stuff like people telling me to hurt myself or people telling me like, you cannot like me but not attack the way I look or the fact that you don't want me here, like that's where I kind of draw the line and Honestly, like seeing, sorry, seeing how people reacted to this, like, I don't even know if I want to do this anymore. Like, this is messed up stuff that people are saying. Like, people telling me to hang myself, people just like blatantly disrespecting the fact that I'm still a human being is not okay at all. And people making fun of the fact that it's just, Like, that's not okay. You can hate on me for whatever I've done, but the fact that all of this is happening because I a misunderstanding, like, I just feel like that's not okay. And if this is the community that I'm in and the community that I put myself in, I don't know if I want to do that anymore. Do that anymore. So, as you may be able to infer from that clip, she's very heartfelt about the situation. She's very upset about it, and rightfully so. If you have a misunderstanding and then you have people who you thought were your fans or people who are your fans and other people in general hating on you, telling you to kill yourself and all these other extremely harsh and vile things that nobody, like I said, nobody should say to somebody else, I kind of understand why you'd get a little under the weather about it and, you know, cry about it. At the same time, dude, it's just, it's ridiculous how people will go to, you know, the lengths that they do to upset somebody. Like, what are you accomplishing by telling somebody else to hurt themselves? The only thing I can imagine you'd want them to do is actually hurt themselves. And how can you get any sort of satisfaction from somebody actually doing something dangerous and harmful to themselves because of something that you said to them? Is that some sort of like fixation that you need? It's it's just utterly ridiculous. Now, I may not be a fan of Charlie D'Amelio. I may not like her TikToks. I may not like the stuff that she's involved in. But at the end of the day, I don't really think she did much wrong in the situation. And I don't think she deserves all of the backlash she's getting. And honestly, I really do feel bad for her. Like I said, I never thought that I would actually ever say that, but I really, really do. I don't think she deserves this in the slightest. But anyway, that's all the time I'm going to spend on this topic because quite frankly, I really don't have much else to say about it. I've gone in on pretty much everything and anything else I say will be just dragging it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and tell me in the comment section if you don't agree with this, if you don't agree with what I'm saying and you have a different point of view, I'd be happy to look at it. I don't think it's going to change my point of view in any way because I, like I said before, you really can't justify saying things like that to people. And even if it's 
just blatant hate and you're not telling her to kill herself the hate in my opinion is misunderstood and she doesn't really deserve it so uh yeah like i said go ahead and tell me how you feel in the comment section below also like the video subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and there will be a link to the discord down below i love all of you guys and i will see you in the next one it's been detail have a great night Okay, it's child, this can't be no homegirls drop it like the NASDAQ. Move white girls like this coke up my ass crack. Move black girls, cause man, fuck it, I'll do either. I love pussy, I love bitches, dude, I should be running Peter in Adidas with some short shorts. B-O-O-O over me, my green is where it's